Hi everyone. I look for a lot of different secrets and mysteries from all around the world. Looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. The world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring us back to the Word of God, and shall we near the end of days, in the beginning of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's kingdom, the kingdom of God that will last forever. We are in the biblical end times now, the time of the image of the beast and the mark of the beast. You can't really discuss what most of those things are going on, but it's happening right now. And they are actually out of time, and Jesus was able to def defeat the beast without having to go to nuclear war. The rapture is a protocol set in case Jesus has to go to nuclear war to try to defeat them. If he can't get past all the different seals. If he can get past all the seals, he's able to release the plagues of the seven last plagues for everyone to enter in heaven. You don't have to go through a nuclear war. And that's what Jesus has done. As Barack Obama the beast and the image of the beast and the man of sin, Joe Biden here tried to instigate a world conflict for many years now, 20, 30 years, all the way back to George Bush Sr. And a great big deception all around the world from fallen angels down to the UFOs and aliens controlling Area 51, which is in the Bible. And here's Donald Trump, one of the Ten Kings that all had their time, seeing they were going after Israel. Right there. Now, the reason for all these different glyphs and things is that this represents Satan right here. Also, death and hell. All of this comes back to Egypt. Everything. Just like the Exodus. It's a very repetitive story in the Bible in many ways. And these guys do the same story over and over again. And Egypt, Satan, is all about image magic. Like literally, like hanging a picture by your head. A spirit could go through it. All going through mirrors. That most things in all the Bible end times is about spiritual things going on trying to get humanity to blow itself up. See, to blow itself up and then become vapor and smoke. That the spirits, the entities, are right around us. See, it's the Green New Deal. That's why Mexico's coming. It comes down to their seed, being evil. You know, they have, their seed is messed up. They don't know in their head and their heart. Come back to Quetzalcoatl. And then Barack Obama, see his penis area? And Joe Biden, his penis area. All pushing out venom and the, the muddy water on Israel. And there's Michelle Obama, who represents Hela. Hell, they're very simple about this magic. Michelle means hell. Obama means bomb you. Obamacare means you took a deal with Satan to go through the bombs and go with Anubis. It's as simple as it gets with these guys. You made a deal with Satan if you bought Obamacare. That's one of the main ways that he just tricks you. See, there's the beast right there with two horns. They are not able to blow up the world. Here's the Satan character here. This is literally the same picture, basically a UFO sitting over Washington, D.C. and controlling people in Washington. The image of the beast is right there in front of you. It's all about image magic with them. Like even this right here. Just as in Washington, you see so many different things connected back to Egypt and things through there. This is the demon legion who you're fighting. It's blended into people. Now see how he almost looks like he's masturbating? That's what he's doing. Yes, like that represents pouring out his seed. See how it looks like he's masturbating? Right there. See how the birds go off to deceive the world? See her right there? See him right there. Their evil seed goes off to deceive the world. Here is Barack Obama and Donald Trump right here in his glyph. There is the mask, part of the image of the beast, and then comes Donald Trump, and the last guy is Joe Biden, called the man of sin, to which America everyone worship his image. It doesn't really matter that it's not all the black people doing this. His image, he just wants a black person. See, so he's pushed black around the world. They're, they will, they're innocent, mostly. There's a big group actually pushing this along, even to a, a part of a war. But not the whole group. Right? There's a group in actual the Bible that is trying to start a war. This war is supposed to be in a thousand years and in space. And they tried to start the Ezekiel 38 war a thousand years early and go after Israel. Yeah, in a thousand years, these two will most likely be released again, unless we can get them bound forever. Jesus will be re revealed soon. They're out of time. Just like you see Joe Biden scrambling, like when they're code for like no baby formula. I mean, really. 
You can't get baby formula in planets. They're all code. The code is they can't feed these guys. Yeah, they can't feed that guy that, that's inside there. See, that guy that we just saw and saw inside of Michelle Obama called Legion. You have to feed them. These are the demons named Legion. You have to actually feed these. These are the beasts in the bottom pit, the locusts. See that are inside? There he is. That's the demon Legion. That's what's inside of them, controlling them right now. Down to right here. Isaiah 30. They have a deal with Pharaoh and Egypt, the shadow of Egypt. There it is. Okay. They do not want Israel. Get you out of the way. Turn on the side of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease before us. Get, they want Jesus gone. They want to burn the world. Literally, they want to burn the world. But you said, no, we will flee upon the horses and start a nuclear conflict. A thousand years. The horses don't ride for a thousand years. Jesus rules for a thousand years. And then the horses ride in the Gog Magog War, which will be even a space war. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one. The five are ready to flee. Therefore will the Lord wait. Jesus is waiting, and he'll be gracious unto us. Jerusalem will be saved. From the right hand to the left hand, you'll hear the Holy Ghost, and Jesus will fix the seed of the earth, and the earth will be fat and plenteous. And that guy will be gone. Even out of any white and black. Remember, he's not just in the black race. He's right there in the white and the black, and in Mexico. See, I would let you figure out how they're getting him and put into you. It's right there in front of that screen, how they're putting them into you. It's right there. They're putting them into people. Part of the image of the beast and the market of the beast. And it's connected right to your seed. So we're going to show today, because then it's connected right to your seed. Like, even if you masturbate, those things are going out. And they go off to deceive the world. Yeah, evil, evil semen. It's the seed of Satan. So that's a root to here. Watch, this is a code. See, that's not really just a tree. See, that comes down to here. That is actually right here. This is in the United Nations. It shows here they want to blow you through the door, blow up, see a nuclear bomb for the wedding of the Lamb. Jesus brought the plagues. And here's the same thing. See, they're trying to get rid of the white horse, the Holy One of Israel. And there's that guy sitting at the top, Satan. He sits right up here, like Area 51. He's sitting right up here, part of the Vatican, right there. See him sitting there exactly like in the Prometheus alien movie. That's an alien engineer. See, that picture represents him. See him sitting right in there. He's an actual alien engineer, a fallen angel. Just like this chair right here. So they sit in that chair and they can control people all around the world. And that's their suit. They actually have a face underneath there, which looks a lot like a plain black man that is bald. And that's why you see so many bald individuals now. When I grew up, black people were not bald. That's one of the things they jokes they used to tell me, my friends. You know, black doesn't crack and black doesn't go bald. And now there's black, bald black people everywhere. Also, see how they're like bald? See, now they're also a whole bunch of bald white guys. They don't even wear wigs or hats anymore. That's part of the image of the beast. Just like that, right there. That's why you're seeing so many people like this now. It's called taking a deal. They actually, and it also represents like nuclear like you'd be blown up and be a clone. See, they're all clones. They all look the same. Yes, that's what they all represent. See? In your clone bed. See, all blown up. And when nukes, it's all symbolism of magic. The nukes represent you, your hair would be burned off. See, there he is. Same thing was shown. In the alien engineer chair. So see, he sits there. Then he'd be connected to the person. He wants Barack Obama over here. The same thing, the blacks. See, there they are. See, connected to them. But he doesn't want Israel. See, that's supposed to be Jesus. Jesus would take over all of this. Everything there. See, it's a white horse. See, so that would be connected to Barack Obama now. See, so it comes right to his root. But that's really connected to the alien engineer at the top, which must be removed. Which actually represents like an ark, a ship. Just like Jesus will have the city of God. Right here. There's the city of God right there. Right there, the city of God, the new Jerusalem appearing. Once these guys are out of the way, so they don't nuke anything. In case Jesus shows up, they'll try to nuke the world. See, they're like waiting. In case Jesus shows up, they want to try to blow up the world. These two guys got to be out of power. Now their time is up. They can't convince Russia and China and North Korea to blow up the world. See, North Korea or Russia don't want to blow up the world. We're going to show today how the Ukrainians actually represent and link to this beast. 
and are trying to egg Russia on, just like America has been pushing weapons on them, and you're going to see the beast connected right to their back, just like this, to their back, so to show how their symbolism works. It's all vision board symbolism with them. This is a picture of a Ukrainian soldier. Now watch how they work. It's connected to your penis. He's literally right there. The guy that we just showed you is literally right there, like a ghost, on your back, and his penis is literally connected to your rear end. You cannot feel him. It's like gas. See how the door? And then this is how their symbolism works. And now you have the ammo. And it's connected right to the person with his glove right there. They are all symbolism magic. And you're shooting your penis out the door, bad penis stuff. And he's on the radio to the beast. Literally, that's how they do their symbolism over and over again. Here is Barack Obama and Nefertiti, the two horned beast. See the two horns? Right there. There's Barack Obama in them right there. It's always done this way. See in your Harry Potter movie? Was Jesus. Daniel is Jesus. And there's the bad guy, the same image we just showed. That's the guy that's on the back of them right there. Right there. That's the guy that's on the back of this soldier right here. Like an alien. It's called the Green New Deal. Let's show him right here. Right here. See him right here? That's his eye. And that's his penis. It's even talked of in the Bible. So he connects on your back. Then even when you're making love to your wife, if you have a child, you do not have a Holy Ghost now. You now have this guy on your back. See Spider-Man? Looks like an alien face. He's hooked on your back. And see what he wants to do to Israel? That represents Israel and the Ark of God. He wants to blow them up. See, they want to kill Israel. See, and it's all, see nukes? It's all with this Egyptian symbolism because it comes back to Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Remember, they made a deal with Egypt. See him right here? Actually, like aliens. He's right here. Hooked up. And then the ammo, see, this symbolism doesn't stop it. It's hooked up to you and this glove. See that a glove? And now you're shooting out and it represents brown. It does not stop. Brown represents sodomy. And the, the, the antenna is hooked to the alien and you're talking. It doesn't stop. This is what you're dealing with. Egyptian magic. This guy. See how he tries to make you look at anal sex? <clears throat> For those that know their um, Pinhead movie, this is called Zype Tohek, Totek, or Pinhead for Hellraiser. And he makes you look at the little box with a little circle, and he has little pins in his head. You know, like needles all in there. And he brings pain. See that right on his penis? See how the glove is right by his penis? See? And he brings torment. He's the flayer of men. He brings war, torment, and deceit. See, connected right to him and right to his glove. That's the way their symbolism works. He is a shadow, a spirit. It's called the shadow of Egypt. He is right here. There he is. You see how he connects the ammo to his penis and he's coming through the, through the door. And he goes right through you and now to the glove. And now when you masturbate or anything... You're shooting out evil ghosts. You're not connected to the Holy Ghost anymore. You are now what's called damned. This is a Ukrainian soldier, damned, fighting the Russians, who are Christians. And America, the, the beast, is sending them ammo. See, see the ammo? <laughs> see what they're sending them? See America sending the Ukrainians cursed ammo from Area 51. See? Boom, boom, boom. So that's what's going on now. That's the same thing you just saw Michelle Obama. The exact same thing. Right there. So he's shooting. So that's shooting all over our country now and brings bitterness and deceit. Like the BLM walking around and all the different white people fighting them. All the people with, with Donald Trump and their riot. And he wants everyone to fight. So really, that's what Jesus is going to get rid of. See, he makes Democrats and Republicans fight. Mad. Right there. There he is. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. That's what brings bitterness and deceit. And that's Isaiah 30 that says that they will be gone. So you've got to fix the seed. When you turn to the right hand and you turn to the left, you'll hear the, the good voice of God instead of that beast. And Jesus will fix thy seed. Exactly by getting rid of this guy. There he is. See him? It's almost time for him to go. He controls Barack Obama, Donald Trump, all of them. And that's how he does it. So he's connected around the world, the demon legion, the one mind that is many. Connected around the world, even to the Catholic Church, to the Pope, 
and to the Queen of England. Keep faith. Hallelujah.